Treading water can be considered one of the most important safety components in swimming. To better understand this, we should go over how we achieve lift in the water. So if you notice here, the thumbs are facing up on the way in, and then the hand rotates slightly and the pinkies are facing out. So when the arms move back and forth, especially on the way in, that water is gonna come in off the palm and push that water down. If the water is getting pushed down, that means your body is getting pushed up. Thank you, Sir Isaac Newton. So there you can kind of see how the pinkies are forward. And then again, we see that rotation where the thumbs come up. Okay. And then we see going back out in real time, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. So having your pinky slightly out on the way out and having your thumbs slightly up on the way in helps get this lift. So that is what actually keeps you up in the water. Coincidentally, it is also what moves you forward when you're sculling horizontally. And there will be a correlated video for that. Now if you see what we're doing is we're just going with a nice up and down motion. Okay, so what Long is doing is just pressing down on the water and every time he presses down you can see how his body comes up a little bit. And it's very subtle, he doesn't have to expend a lot of energy. Just a little bit, pressing down. Now you can see it from the side view. And then the hands just come up lightly, press down. You can see his body go up. And then you can see how his hands are kind of coming in lightly and his wrists are relaxed on the way up. So we don't want a lot of resistance on the way up. We want most of the resistance to be on the way down. Because if we're pushing down on the water again, the water is pushing up on us. If we're pushing back on the water, the water is pushing us forward, which is how we propel ourselves forward in swimming. Here's the rear view. You can see him pressing down. Nice relaxed wrist on the way up. And you can test this out just with a vertical float. And you can see, just hold your breath, let your face go underwater, and then just press down a little bit and see how much you can get out of the water with each press down. You'll realize just with a little bit of energy, you can probably get your mouth and nose out of the water. And then you can incorporate just that slight breath out, and then as soon as your mouth comes up, you can breathe in. Those would be vertical bobs. And when we see it in real time, okay, it still looks reasonably slow. You can just see there's that nice little bit of effort going out and in from all directions. Pinkies out on the way out, thumbs up on the way in. Pinkies up on the way out, thumbs up on the way in. Not completely vertical. We do not want to go completely vertical. If we go completely vertical, all you're going to be doing is either pressing the water straight into you and then pushing it back out. You're not going to be getting that lift. We want to get that lift. And again, this is just the pressing down in real time. And he's just kind of getting a good feel of that water. What we see here is the leg movement in treading water. Now this is an egg beater kick. You do not have to do an egg beater kick. You can do a freestyle kick, a breaststroke kick, a butterfly kick, whatever you like. Anyone will work as long as we're staying above the water. But in this egg beater kick, what it really is is basically a breaststroke kick just done one leg at a time. So with the left leg, it is doing a clockwise motion and the right leg is doing a counterclockwise motion. But they're both basically doing a breaststroke kick, just one and the other, one and the other. So there's a slight circular motion and then that pressing down. So the pressing down, you should feel that on the bottom of your foot and the inside of your lower leg. So here's the side version of it. You can see I'm lifting my toes as I'm pressing down. And your legs do not need to come to full extension. Once they go to full extension in this kick or in breaststroke kick, you're actually making yourself in such a straight line that you'll lose any sort of flotation that you have. You'll be streamlining yourself to go down a little bit further than you'd be comfortable. It's a great way to do a pencil dive though. So now we just look, that leg goes down, lifts up, presses down, lifts up, and I'm relaxing the ankle as it comes up. You wanna lift those toes. Here we go in real time. 
and you can do it as fast as you want. If you ever get a chance to watch a water polo on TV, you'll occasionally get the pleasure of seeing what they do underwater. Um, what they can do underwater is a hundred times more lift and impressive than what the average person can do with an egg beater. Some water polo players can lift so high they get their whole speedo out of the water.